Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, so, when I was a kid series, I still got videos to post there. I got some backlogging to do. And I don't know what number video this is, so I'll just plaster it right here on my face. So, when I was a kid, here we go. I got a few more things to show you. And one of them is pretty interesting. So I wanted to build a projector, okay? So like an actual um, TV projector. So I tried the Forenzo lens on the CRT TV and reflecting it and trying to broadcast it. That didn't really work very well, which is just way too dark. So here's what else I did. This is an interesting piece. This is a portable television, okay, an old Casio portable television. All right, and then on the back here, <laughs> I've got a, a halogen light bulb. And yeah, th this was a long time ago. Look how I temporarily have this rigged up. I'm going to throw this away, by the way. I'm done with it. It's just, this duct tape's nasty stuff. So, I got my light bulb in there. I got my fan in there. So I can cool the air flowing through there. Then I got my TV in there. So we can actually, basically just, the light will reflect through the screen and on the wall. So I'm going to plug this in. Temporarily, so you can see what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. See? Here, let me go turn the lights off. Before my bulb before my bulb burns up. Alright. So you can see right there, that's my projection of my TV screen. And it actually did work. Um, and it worked okay. But I decided that's a little dangerous. That was proof of concept right there. That is, halogen ball being duct taped to the electrical cord can't be good for anything. So, here's the deal. I'm going to unplug this before it burns up. I was going to make this two videos, but I'm going to make it one video to make this easy. Oh, yeah. That duct tape's hot. Look at it, it's already melting against it. <laughs> so, here's the deal. Um,. Then I decided to go a little bit bigger. So this is my second version. And I actually used this in college. So I'm going to wipe off the mirrors. I'm going to drop this screen. I actually did make this screen. Okay, so there's our... There's our screen. Alright, it turned it into a... A hundred inch TV. Alright, so I went from a an LCD screen to a hundred inch TV. So let's kick this thing on. I'll show you what it looks like while it's running. Alrighty. So, I've got this thing on. And powered up. You can see my electronics up here. And then uh, on this side. Let me get out of the way. And there's a lot of light coming in this window right here. But... There you go. So let me turn the PS2 on if it works. Oh, I should have plugged it in, huh? Oh, man. Now I'm not going to be able to see. Um, oh, there we go. There's quite a bit of light coming in the window. Let me just set this down. I probably got a piece of cardboard I can stick up there. I think it's loading. Temporary purposes. Woof it! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's just too much stuff down here. Oh. Well, my controller doesn't work. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. So it could probably be focused a little bit.
probably gonna be focused a lot actually. No, well, might be it. Anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what I got there. Let me show you how big how big it is. And everything's like inverted and backwards. So let me turn the lights back on so I can show you exactly what I did here. Okay, now I can see what I'm doing. There's just too much stuff down here. It's driving me crazy. Can't walk around. So look at what I got. This is pretty cool. Um, I've got an old like LCD screen that I uh, have rigged up pretty good. I had to put some fans on here because the surface of that LCD screen actually gets like really hot. And this this uh, screen you see on here is actually part of the um, uh, what you might call it the screen. The uh, oh I cannot think today. The polarized lens. Now here's the interesting part about this. See if we get a good shot of this. You see that connector right there? That connector was the worst connector ever. Let me give you a reference of how small that is. There's my finger. Look how many wires go into that one spot. That right there, that's my finger. There is, I think, 18 connections within a half an inch that I had to solder onto there. The reason I had to do that is because this board right here used to be on the back side of this LCD screen so you couldn't project through it. So I had to re I had to fold it open so one connector still hit all the header pins here or the pins for the LCD screen. And then this one I had to actually solder onto this and get this whole thing soldered in there. It it was terrible. It was probably the worst soldering job I ever tried. 18 wires and a half an inch. Try that, boys and girls. So yeah, that's just literally, it's nothing more than an overhead projector. I gotta take this down anyway. How did I even get it up there? Oh, I nailed it on there. There we go. So this is just a an overhead projector. And that's that's all it is. Overhead projector. With my components mounted on it. This is my on off button. Right there. Oh, I think I just blew the bulb. Oh no, there you go. It's just sitting so close. Uh, anyway. There's the homemade projector. I used to have that in my college dorm room pretty sweet. Nowadays you can just pick them up for pretty cheap, but at the time they were pretty expensive. A thousand bucks or more. So I built one for, I don't know, less than that. Alright, peace and love you guys. When I was a kid, I need to update my website now. Peace.